Hey YouTube, I'm Toilet Munger and this is my friend Jason Sway's boy Swayze. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Greg Kinnear. I mean Metal Gear. So so yeah, uh, what what's what specifically about Metal Gear do you want to talk about? You might want to move in a little closer. I, I, yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. Just just talk about. Let's talk about how awesome Metal Gear is compared yeah. to a lot of other series, and you know the struggles of the protagonists and the protagonists villains nice protagonists Prota protagon protagon <laughs> protagon doesn't make a difference to me doesn't make a bit of difference guys the balls are inert so yeah yeah so, so ben what is your favorite metal gear game my favorite metal gear game so far is snake eater metal gear solid 3 have you my played that one no i haven't you need to play that one sadly that, that's a good one that, that is a good one have you only played the first two um yes just the first two ah you're a sad strange little man you know what that's from? That's from Toy Story. Yeah. Okay, go on. <laughs> so, um, Metal Gear, what it's all about, it's about your your name is Snake in, in the first... Solid first Snake. Snol solid Snake, yes. Solid Snake. Snol Actually, his real name's David, but but his code name is Solid Snake. Which is Benjamin Here's his middle Yeah, name. Benjamin David Zaylor um, Brown. So you sneak around, and... That's the most fun part about the game, is the sneaking part. Oh, well, some of the cutscenes are pretty cool. Yes. And, and the boss... I like the boss fights. <laughs> One of my favorite things about any and all video games is the boss fights. Yeah. So, G Metal Gear did a good job with that. Good job. Good job. Yeah. yeah, actually, um, a lot of new video games these days have really, really idiotic boss fights. Such as, you have to avoid the boss's mm -hmm. attacks, mm -hmm. and then you have to like uh, hit a button and then he dies from you hitting the button. Yeah. Like quick, quick idiotic, time events and stuff. Idiotic games like oh. idiotic boss fights like those are what are ruining boss fights in general and making boss fights not fun. Although if a quick time event is done like really well, I it can be justified yes. if you ask me. Like, like God of War. Oh, I haven't really played God of War. But Resident good, Evil good Four had had some good quick time events. Like there was a whole knife fight that was done in quick time events, but in the Wii version, it's super cool because with the Wii mode, it's like you're actually knife fighting, and I keep doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, wh what else about Metal Gear? I don't know. I was kind of just raging on about Metal Gear. What, what, did, what did you think about Metal Gear Solid 2? What did you think about the, the, the game as a it, whole? It was, it was great. It, it was, was great. great. Every everything about Metal Gear is great. Everything. It's just Metal Gear Solid cool. Two is sort of like fans are divided on it. Some of them think it's the best game in the series. Other them, of them are like, this is absolutely terrible. I thought it w wasn't absolutely terrible, but out of the first three Metal Gear Solid games, it was the worst. But I mean, Raiden is justifiable statement. Raiden is a whiny bitch, but he's sort of supposed to be. Yeah. Like, it, it's like, in No More Heroes, you play as Travis Touchdown, and he's a douchebag, but you're suppo he's supposed to be a douchebag. That's, like, part of the game. I think the motto for that game should be, being a douchebag's never been this much fun. Um, so, yeah, the conversations with Rose were really annoying. But at the end, where you're, like, naked, and the colonel's, like, not really the colonel, and is telling you about the the purple worm and flap jaw space and making random non sequiturs <laughs> that that's pretty that's, sweet that's, yeah that, plus one of the bosses is a fat guy on roller skates you can't go wrong with no. that and no. he plants bombs everywhere so so yeah 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 what would you say is your favorite boss fight in the series um i, I can't really decide one there probably the tank in in metal gear one Metal in Metal Gear, Gear Solid, Metal Gear one. Solid 1. Because yeah. Metal Gear 1, I think they might have had yeah, a tank they, in that, too. But. You know, Metal Gear, it kind of confuses me, the Metal Gear series, because it's almost almost like Final Fantasy, where there's different numbers, and mm -hmm. different numbers can be the same game and different... Well, that's Final Fantasy. But yeah, yeah. Same numbers can be a different game, and it just kind of yeah, confuses it's, me. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, but it's weird. Definitely the tank in Metal Gear Solid 1, because that was the first boss fight in the Metal Gear series that I ever fought. It was the coolest one in my opinion. Yeah. So. I, I'm still going with Fat Man because <laughs> he's, he's a fat guy on roller skates playing bombs everywhere. How did you get involved with the Metal Gear series? Well, 
What was your first exposure to it? My uncle owns a lot of old retro gaming systems like a NES and a Super NES and, you know, PlayStation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were always playing his games. And our favorites were Metal Gear Solid 1, Mm -hmm. obviously. And let's see, NFL Blitz. Mm-hmm. The original version, which was a really good game too, um, and then Street Fighter Two Turbo, yeah. which is to this day one of my favorite video games. Yeah, and that video game introduced me to Chung Lee, who is my favorite female in any um, video game of all time. Nah, nah. I don't know. I'd say my favorite female video game in any video game of all time or is Ada Wong from Resident Evil 4. Just because she's pretty, but she's she's not like she's not like a bunch of video game characters where she real wears really skimpy clothes and has huge titties. She Bayonetta she's, comes to mind. <laughs> but yeah, she's and she's like mysterious and you think she's on your side, but she's not. Oh, spoiler, sorry. Um, but <laughs> it's not really supposed to give a spoiler warning after you've spoiled it, but, but whatever. We're all friends here. Um, my first exposure to the Metal Gear series was, well, I, I knew about it through the initial Brawl trailer. I was like, who the hell is that guy at the end that, that was talking in Japanese on this weird phone thing? I was like, should I be excited about that? <laughs> but then, like, I was playing Brawl with my friend Joel, and I was telling him, like, the the little bit that I knew about um, Metal Gear. Because we were playing on the Shadow Moses Island stage. And I was like, yeah, the name of the stage is Shadow Moses Island. And he actually had a really good comeback for that. Like, what's he going to do? Part the Black Sea? <laughs> um, but anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I was like, that's from the Metal Gear games. I was like, huh, Metal Gear games. Cool. And the next thing I know, he has bought and played the first three Metal Gear Solid games was like, hey, you want to borrow these? And I'm like, yes! And so I did. And it was awesome. And you were like, epic win. And Metal Gear Solid was actually the first M-rated game I've ever played. Really? Yeah, really, really. It's, the a, first... pretty, it's a pretty tame M-rated game. Yeah, it is a very true. tame M-rated game. Well, the, the way I see it, it goes Metal Gear Solid, then it goes... Um, I'm actually going to make a bold statement and say Wind Waker is a lot more violent. There's no blood, but the final kill against Ganon, like, the sword goes through his head. He sees it coming, doesn't do anything, and is just turned to stone. That's violent. Yeah. Um, Destroy all humans. You destroy humans. Yeah. That, that That's more violent than, than yeah, the first Metal Gear. you, like, shoot a probe up their anus. Yes. Then and their head explodes. Yes. Which, then in and of itself, is pretty violent. So go ahead. Then Metal Gear Solid 2, then Metal Gear Solid 3, because with graphical upgrades and there was more blood in those games, Metal Gear Solid 3, like, you actually got your eye shot out, and that that was kind of (laughs) gross. You'll shoot your eye out. Yeah. uh, Ralphie was in that game. Then Resident Evil 4, and finally, the most violent game I've played is No More Heroes. And that game is awesome. You should check that game out. If you do people out there. Because you get to play as douchebag... And you get to fight, you get to be an assassin, and whenever you kill someone, there's a bunch of blood and coin ev- coins everywhere. And whenever he gets, like, a superpower, he says weird dessert names, like, Blueberry Cheese Brownie! <laughs> and then, yeah, he gets superpowers for, like, ten seconds. So, 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 yeah. Now, now see, we're, we're talking about fun violence, not... Right, don't like... try this at home, kids. D- don't try killing people with yeah, bean yeah, katanas yeah. so that coins will come out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking like the, like the super violent, violent, not fun games. Like, like what? Like, like, like. Um, um, yeah. Like, um, I love um, yeah, best game of all time. Actually, um. Twenty to Life, I, th- I think, is the name of the game. Twenty to Life. Twenty to Life. I, That's I a really weird name. It the name eludes me right now. Allu- I, is, are you using that word correctly? Yes, I am, Ben. I, I don't know. I have a much bigger vocabulary than you. Well, that's just confabulated to me. That word eludes my memory. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
All right, so. So. Yeah, we we're past the 10 minute mark, but luckily YouTube allows for 15 minutes videos now. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. You got to deal with us for 15 minutes or just quit. Turn us off. Yeah, or please just, don't, please don't. Please, please don't, don't, please don't. We, we, we need your, your sexiness. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, no, I, I'm it. talking about the viewer's sexiness, not yeah. yours. But, okay. but, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Charizard. Okay. Okay. KKK. It's a terrible organization. You should not support that. <laughs> no. So plus the fact that I'm black. You're you're not black. I'm I'm sorry. I see you white, Jason, and I want to paint it black. So is, is that all we have to say about the Metal Gear series? Is this even about the Metal Gear series? I don't even anymore? think this is. Ah, Colonel. This video is irrelevant. Totally irrelevant. Yeah. Do you think that love can bloom even on the battlefield? I'd have to say yes. All right. And with that, I would do cool, like, closing credit songs, but I, I don't have any editing program, so... Dream Weaver, I believe that we can touch the okay, sky. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, okay. Dream Weaver... Okay, I believe something, something morning light. Okay, okay end of video. Okay. <laughs>